Hello again. Today I'm going to share uh, something that is an answer to the hundreds of thousands of questions I get from adoring fans and the general public um, every day, just so that I can finally get some rest from the constant barrage of questioning. What is your favorite pencil? What's the best pencil I can get right now? So today I'm going to share my top seven writing pencils. Now a few qualifiers. These, number one, will be pencils just for writing. So um, not the best art pencil or uh, for any other purpose. These are pencils that I prefer for writing. And number two, these are pencils that are still in production or at least readily available. So uh, no Eagle Black Warrior from 1961, uh, which is a fine pencil, but not readily available. So without further ado, my top seven writing pencils with a few honorable mentions for special use. Number one, my number one favorite writing pencil comes from a Japanese company called Kitabashi. It's their 9606 HB general use writing pencil. It has a terrific soft dark core. Um, the color is beautiful on this and you can see on the reverse it is for academic writing, which I believe means it makes you smarter when you use it. I think it's working for me anyway. Um, this is just a really well-made pencil Japanese pencils tend to be, in my humble opinion, some of the best in terms of just fit and finish. The care they take in the design of the pencil. Uh, it's not cedar wood. I'm not, I don't think, I'm not sure what kind of wood is in this pencil, but uh, it sharpens up beautifully. And uh, like I said, the proof is in the writing and it really makes a nice dark line. So number one writing pencil for general writing use for me comes from Japan is the Kitabashi 9606 so let's go ahead and log that here number two my number two favorite writing pencil is not a number two, at least it doesn't say that on the pencil. Uh, this one comes from India, from a company called Doms, and it is called the X1 Extra Super Dark. What's not to like about that name? Uh, you can see it says, this little trademark here, it says Sharp Minds. Again, probably makes you smarter when you use it. Jury's still out on it. Uh, again, not cedar wood, but whatever wood they're using is really terrific. It sharpens nicely. And again, the what I look for in a, a writing pencil is a nice dark line and a soft graphite, and this definitely has that. I also appreciate that little spot for your name if you have a problem with people pilfering your pencils. Um, the paint job is terrific. You see that also in a lot of Indian pencils. It's, it's hit or miss with pencil companies in India, but uh, most of them have a very dark graphite, which is what I'm looking for. So my number two writing pencil is from Dom's. It is the X1 Extra Super Dark. I'll go ahead and log that one now. Number three, my number three favorite writing pencil comes from Japan again. This one is from Tombow. It's the Tombow 2558. It's in a B grade, so a little darker than your standard HB. Has a very nice ferrule. I don't know what kind of color you would call that, kind of a bronzy rose color, uh, but I think it looks really nice next to this gold yellow. The wood, again, not sure whether it's cedar or not. It doesn't smell like cedar, but sharpens up very nice. The core, obviously, 
is the important thing on a pencil, and this one is very dark, uh, which is what I'm looking for in a pencil. Japanese pencils, again, tend to be very dark, and this is a B grade, so it's darker than most. Uh, this one is for general writing. So as opposed to academic writing, this one's for general writing. Let us log pencil number three. Number four. This one comes again from Asia. This one from India. So the second pencil from India and the top four spots belong to Asia, uh, which again, for me personally, dark graphite is what I look for in a writing pencil and Asia is best at that uh, in general. Not every pencil, of course, but. So what we have here is from the Apsara company part of Hindustan pencils that also makes Nataraj pencils that are also very nice. None of them happen to make the top seven, I don't think, but uh, this Apsara Absolute Extra Strong, Extra Dark pencil. Um, very nice pencil. Very smooth graphite. Um, again, you expect that in Indian pencils. This one may be slightly less dark than the X1 from Dom's that I reviewed, uh, but still an excellent pencil. The paint job is pretty much immaculate. Uh, I don't know what you'd call this, almost a gunmetal gray here, and a sea blue with a lighter gray band. Uh, as you may have noticed on the other Dom's, there's no eraser. That's uh, a common thing among pencils from Asia and Europe. America seems to be the lone holdout to put a eraser on top of every pencil. I kind of prefer it without because the erasers they choose are generally awful and don't work at all. So number four pencil, the Apsara Absolute Extra Strong Extra Dark from Hindustan Pencils in India. So let's log that one here. Now we're at number five, my number five favorite writing pencil. Finally, an American pencil makes the list. And uh, this is kind of an odd one. This is from the Musgrave Pencil Company in Tennessee, Shelbyville, Tennessee, you see right there. Uh, this is labeled their test scoring 100 pencil. So it's basically marketed as a fill in the dot, dot matrix, what do they call it? Uh, Scantron, they used to call it when I was in school. A test taking pencil. Has a very dark, I believe they, they call this a synthetic or artificial graphite core. It, it works just like a really dark graphite to me. So I don't know what the difference is, uh, but it's very dark and very smooth. This one, just the core is maybe the darkest of all the pencils in my top seven. Uh, it didn't make the top, probably lost some points mainly because of just fit and finish details. The, um, the print wears off really easily when you're using the pencil. This one I haven't handled much, but uh, not too much writing with this and this print would be gone, which some people may like, I don't know. Also, Musgrave tends to have very sharp corners on their hex pencils. So if you don't like that, uh, that, that may be an issue for you. Um, but as far as the darkness of the line, very dark, very smooth. Uh, this ends up number five on my list. So yay, America. Okay, number six of my favorite writing pencils, another American product. This one, I believe, is also manufactured by Musgrave Pencils, although it doesn't say that. I think that's who makes this. 
This is a Home Depot pencil. You get this at Home Depot. It's apparently marketed as maybe a lumber marker or something of that nature. It comes in a tube of, I think, 12 pencils for a couple bucks. It's a really cheap, readily available pencil, and it writes great. Um, the wood, I think, may be cedar. It's a very nice wood. It's a round pencil, the first round pencil to make my list, uh, which if you like that for comfort, um, you'll probably enjoy that feature. Kind of a standard issue gold ferrule there. Uh, the erasers on here, uh, you know, again, you see those on American pencils, not so much on foreign pencils. Not the best eraser in the world, but it'll do the job if you need. Um, but not super dark either compared to the other pencils in my list but very smooth so the graphite is uh whatever formulation they're using is very smooth but not super dark but just because they're so easy to get so cheap and just a fine well manufactured pencil this made my list at number six Okay, so rounding out the top seven. Number seven is, again, an American pencil. This one, uh, I think, is still available at your local Walmart uh, in the back-to-school section. And this is the USA Titanium HB number two, although that's debatable. Um, again, I found these at at Walmart, I got them after back to school, and they were selling these for dirt cheap. I think I paid like three cents a pencil for a box of these. Made somewhere in America, pretty sure it's Tennessee, and probably at the, what was formerly the J.R. Moon Company pencil uh, manufacturing plant. Uh, they, they still manufacture, I think, under the name Moon, but I think mostly they make pencils for other companies other labels uh, the fit and finish isn't the best you know the paint job is almost translucent just kind of slapped on there um, you know the foil printing isn't awful the ferrule I think looks actually rather nice it's kind of unusual most cheap pencil ferrules all look the same but this has a kind of these distinctive black stripes and the eraser of course is Mediocre at best, but really dark line from this pencil. Um, these are, I think, made by the same company and marketed by the same company that makes the USA Gold, which I've always liked as a basic writing pencil. Uh, but I think the titanium has a, a significantly darker graphite and smooth, uh, which is what I like. So, um, so easy to find, I think, still. They probably are going to bring out another mutation of this because they seem to change them up but um, I think they're still marketed under USA titanium at this point cheap readily available really dark line and just an overall nice pencil so rounding out the top seven at number seven USA titanium Okay, so now that we have the top seven, there's a couple of honorable mentions, kind of special use pencils that I don't use for writing a lot, but uh, have their own kind of distinct purpose. Uh, the first of these is another Musgrave pencil made in America, the Musgrave News 600, which is a super dark pencil. It's the Sharpie of pencils, and it's uh, terrifically dark. I, I wouldn't use this for writing a letter or something like that because you'd be sharpening you know every line or so because you go through the graphite so fast. Um, but if you want something dark uh, this is definitely dark. It doesn't come with an eraser. It's not capped or anything at all but you can see how thick that graphite is and very smooth. Uh, I could see if you're wanting, if you're reading the newspaper and wanted to mark something, circle some things. Um, 
certainly for drawing something of that nature you may want to use it uh, i have heard people use it for crossword puzzles i use a pen of course <laughs> for crossword but um so not for writing but for lots of other purposes this is a terrific and very dark pencil uh, you can get it from the musgrave company as with the other musgraves or I think you can get this from CW Pencil Enterprise as well. So, honorable mention to the Musgrave News 600. Then another honorable mention, a kind of a special use pencil, is something that I can't believe I'm recommending because I generally do not like this type of pencil but they do have a very specific purpose. So here I have actually two examples, um, both from Statler. Um, this one's known as the Wopex, um, but they're both extruded pencils. They're plastic pencils that are squirted out of a machine uh, rather than carved out of wood and squirted out all of one piece. So it's extruded, uh, the lead, graphite I guess uh, and the plastic material and the outer coating are all extruded at the same time um, don't like the feel of these I just don't like to write with them in general but if you are going to mark in a book or a Bible this is the kind of pencil you want it will not smudge these other pencils um, probably because they're so dark and soft they i just bumped the uh camera again sorry they will smudge when you write out a line or make a note if you run your finger over it you'll get a little smudge these will not smudge and they are as permanent as you can get with a pencil so if you're going to mark in your books and bibles I recommend using one of these pencils that I wouldn't ordinarily recommend for any other purpose other than making notations in your books. Um, again, because they will not smudge and they will stay on the page and not be worn off until you want to and you erase them yourself. They are still erasable, but uh, they're not going to smudge on their own if you're just running your finger along. So there's other companies that make similar pencils that are extruded. Uh, Statler just makes a nice pencil, so even though they're extruded, um, they're still a quality quality pencil. So special use pencil, only for marking in your books and Bibles is what I would recommend this pencil for. All right, so that completes the top seven with two uh, honorable mentions here, my favorite writing pencils, and just um, kind of show you the Apsara and the Doms pencils I ordered in a box. Uh, they came from India and got beat up a little bit in the uh, travel, but when you order Indian pencils, they tend to come in a box of 10, uh, these kind of pretty boxes they always have and there's usually an eraser and sharpener in the box so these did come with eraser and sharpener since there are not erasers on the pencils themselves it's kind of a standard thing with Indian pencils so if you order them on eBay or Amazon or some such that's the way they'll come likely and the USA titanium pencils I found at Walmart in a box like this so, ton of pencils were marked way down um, after the back to school sales were gone so that's what you'd see if you were looking for those and I know somebody out of my millions of subscribers is going to ask where is the black wing on your list and the easy answer is it's not um, nothing against the black wing I'm sure it's a terrific pencil and it is uh, it just, something about it, the giant, ridiculous, clownish ferrule on it, to me, 
uh, makes it difficult to write with. It just throws the balance off and it looks, it's just too much. It's like huge fins on an old 50s automobile. Kind of ridiculous. That's just my opinion. And, you know, if you want someone to sing the praises of Blackwing, there's billions of um, websites and videos and blogs that you can go to where somebody is talking about how great the Blackwing is. It's a terrific pencil. It's a very nice, very nice pencil. It's an expensive pencil, and for me, just not all that useful. So that's why it didn't make my list. Uh, so nothing else to say about that. So here they are. If you are wanting a fine pencil, especially if you like them on the dark side, and, uh, you know, smooth, uh, well-made pencils, any of these top seven are going to be great pencils for you. And if you're writing in your Bibles or your books, do us all a favor and use something like this Wopex right here because you can erase it, but you won't smudge it. It'll stay there forever until you're ready to, to erase it off. So there we go. That's all I had to say. Hope you enjoyed this review of my seven favorite pencils. Feel free to argue with me in the comments if you think I've made a horrible blunder here. And thanks for joining me.